Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the master of hobbits today looking at more Spanish craft beer from Nomada Brewing Company they were kind enough to send out some beer guys so we're of course looking at it here on the channel this one should be interesting it's a Berliner Weisse a style beer that's become very popular as of late sour beer in general is getting really popular but this is Nomada's take on the Berliner Weisse style so this guys is the Nomada Brewing Company company Pesho Flora Sour Berliner Weisse with an interesting label of flowers, which I think is the flowers of the passion flora or the passion fruit. I don't know if that's a tree or what it is, but it's the flower that grows there. I think it says so there on the little description sheet I got from them. And then we got what looks like some people, and maybe it's, you know, the Ber when the Berlin Wall fell or something. It's like a huge group of people. I think that might be a reference, you know, it's, it's a style from Berlin. So, but this is, uh, yeah, pretty interesting stuff because it's a fruit, passion fruit Berliner Weisse. Love passion fruit, love it, love it, love it, love it. And yeah, it has it, this beer. Uh, it's 3.8%, so fairly low in ABD. And it says that, yeah, what I just said, the flower on there, that's how the passion fruits flower look uh, before the, you know, the fruits there. So it's a style of German beer style from Berlin. And usually you serve it with woodruff or raspberry syrups or in general just lots of fruit syrups whereas the authentic one is sour. So the ones with the syrups uh, that you serve in cafes and stuff in Berlin are often kind of sweet almost. But the modern craft breweries like Siren, or Siren, sorry, like Nomada has taken the style to them and made it like the authentic but put fruit flavors without being sweet. Uh, brewed with magnum and mosaic, ooh, magnum and mosaic hops. Malts are pale caramel wheat and oat malt. And then they use the passion fruit in there. And um, they say that it is very good with tabule or quinoa salad, roasted beef with potatoes, or smoked eels, eel or gilda tapas. So quinoa I know what it is, but tabule, I think, I'm not sure what that is. And uh, gilda tapas, I don't, don't know what that is either. I think tabule, I've heard it before, it's like some kind of... Middle Eastern dish thing, and they say that this beer is loads, explosions of passion fruit with tropical nu nuances from the hop, and kind of like a champagne of beers. But it should be interesting because I do enjoy a nice Valia Vice. So we got it poured, guys, and wow, well, that looks quite nice in the glass. Nice, cloudy, hazy, golden yellow color with slight amount of slight amount of white head. Also, the sourness in a beer like this often comes from uh, lactic acid or uh, lacto uh, lactic bacteria. So. I know that, but yeah, let's check out the aroma on the Nomada Passion Flora Balino Isa. Yeah, that smells like passion fruit juice. <laughs> oh, that smells really nice. That's really like super refreshing tart passion fruit juice. And then that kind of lacto uh, sweet, it's like a lactic milky esque sourness because it's the same bacteria that is in milk, lactic bacteria, you know, lactic, that lacto, lactose, that's from milk, you know. Um, so like when you make, I think it's like buttermilk and stuff, it has that kind of tartness, a similar tartness, uh, because it's got lactobacteria in it. And it's the same kind of similar aroma, it's like an almost like milky tart sourness that you get in beers like this. It's kind of interesting, but it smells really nice. And then like the passion fruit, I'm not really getting the hops, maybe a bit of the citrus lemony note, but it smells pretty nice and refreshing. Let's give it a taste. Cheers and thanks to Nomada for the beer. <laughs> oh, that's what I, like, I didn't expect it to be this sour up front, but, like, super sharp sourness, and then it faded. I feel like that's how it is with a lot of Berliner Weisses. You get, like, super sharp sourness, and then it fades, which is like this, but quite a nice uh, passion fruit flavor with subtle hints of the mosaic. Like, a subtle, almost, that kind of blueberry thing. I'm getting that especially in the aftertaste. I like, it's really, like, passion fruit, blueberries, and then with the lactic, it's almost like passion fruit blueberry yogurt-esque because you're getting because yogurt also has you know lactic bacteria a bit of wheat medium mouthfeel actually a good amount of flavor for 3.8 percent as well i could easily slug a few of these super drinkable super refreshing quite just non-compromising uh, fruity passion fruit again that kind of blueberry slightly wheaty crisp 
refreshing flavor with some tartness, maybe some lemon. Very simple, but very, very nice and easy drinkable beer. This is actually quite nice. It's not a mind blower or anything. I've had like some Benina Vices that are just crazy, but it's really nice and drinkable. So rating wise for the Nomada Passion Flower, uh, Passion Fruit Benina Vices, I'm gonna go 88. It's pretty nice, but like the flavors kind of fall flat a bit. I mean, they come and they're quite nice, but like it's, it's there for two seconds and it's gone. But it's still quite nice by the device. I definitely recommend you guys check it out if you get the chance. So thanks a ton to Nomada for this one. And uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think of the Pesha Flower Sour Badina Visa if you've had a chance to try it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, <clears throat> check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I want to say cheers. See you guys in the beer review.